Greetings everyone, I'm Prince B, coming at you once again with more Amiibo Twin Box. Today we have the lovely Cosmic Princess Rosalina. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's ever established if she's actually a princess or not, but she got a crown, so we're going to call her a princess. Uh, so, uh, I was just thinking, I've been on a space kick f for a while with these, without even noticing I did uh, the Kirby series Amiibo. And then I did some Steven Universe figures unboxing. And then last week we had Samus. So I figured let's just keep the space kick rolling and go with Rosalina. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, and unlike Samus, I actually do know a decent bit about Rosalina. So yay. <laughs> Here she is, uh, first debuting in Mario Galaxy. Uh, Rosalina was just kind of like a guide character, and uh, apparently she was super popular because she has appeared in so many Mario titles since, uh, from the Mario Party games to the Mario Kart games, and she's even playable in uh, some of the main series games. So I mean, and of course she was popular enough to get into Smash Bros. So. I mean, just kind of a pretty well-known character at this point uh, from the Mario universe. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, that is a pretty noticeable seam right there. I don't like that. But the star pattern on her dress looks really nice. Uh, of course, we've got the big ol' support stand for Luma. Uh, unavoidable, but if I were going to pose her differently, like assuming I could just alter the posed altogether including the trophy they based it on in Smash. I'd have just put like Luma down on at the base or something uh, just so we didn't have to have this big ol' ugly support stand. She's got another one under her dress uh, but it's kinda hard to see and luckily you won't be posing it like this most likely. Uh, so that one's forgivable but this big one here is just kinda ugly. At least it's not one of the colored ones. Uh, other than that, we've got a good level of detail. Her uh, fingernails have a uh, nail polish on it. Uh, all of them, actually. Even her thumb down here below the actual wand. Uh, so that's a nice detail. Uh, wand is pretty... I mean, like, it wiggles, but it's uh, not flimsy or anything. Uh, and her face is pretty good for one of the earlier wave humanoid characters. Uh, I think the fact that they didn't have to have so her scale down so small to fit a ton of detail on her really helped with that, uh, unlike like the Fire Emblem characters and whatever. Uh, and of course I already mentioned the crown. There's that. Uh, overall she looks pretty good except for that giant seam and the support. Uh, yeah, I was talking about how she's in a lot of the modern Mario games, and she is usually one of my go-to characters if they don't have, like, a Waluigi. Uh, it's usually her or Luigi that I uh, go for in terms of uh, the character I'll choose if Waluigi's not an option. So, uh, it's kind of cool that even all these years later, they can still occasionally introduce a uh, new character into such an established franchise and have her just so well received. But yeah, so that's Rosalina and Luma, another pretty short unboxing. Uh, also, just gotta say, Luma's absolutely adorable. Uh, I, I, I really like Luma. Uh, and I've always actually really liked Rosalina as a character too. Uh, even though she didn't have a, the biggest role in the story or whatever, and she was just kind of there acting as a guide telling you what you had to do or whatever, uh, I really liked her little backstory book that you got in the library uh, for doing various chapters. That really uh, helped me connect to her uh, in a way that I really didn't connect to most Mario characters. But uh, yeah, that's Rosalina and Luma. Uh, nice little figure. And I'll see you guys next time for more Amiibo unboxing. Uh, probably not more space because I think we're done with space for a while now. Thanks for watching. As always, Prince B signing out.